Welcome to Atlanta! Satisfy my people in Georgia and cross the water. Hello guys, we are in a town called Marietta, Marietta in Georgia. Georgia. Very close to the downtown. I feel like we might get rained on soon. And it also feels like we're in England. Check yeah, look at this building. But we're gonna go try to see some MLK stuff. He was born here and we wanna see some of his important history here in Atlanta. Let's go. So we're walking around this downtown, very all-American here, but to set the scene, it is June and kind of humid out, but not too bad. And um, there have been quite a few Black Lives Matter protests, so we're going to try to see what we can in the downtown. Hey guys, we are at the Martin Luther King Park, paying homage to Martin Luther King. His statue is right behind us. This is so cool. You can see the entire city skyline from up here. Welcome to Atlanta! We are at the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site that commemorates America's prominent civil rights leader. There's a number of places to see here, including his birth home. All right, so it just started raining, kind of drizzling right now, but we are at the Martin Luther King National Park Services area here in Atlanta. And Martin Luther King was famous for his peaceful protests and boycotts, and he was inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. So this right here is the visitor center, but unfortunately it's closed because of COVID, but there's a number of sites that we can see from the outside. There's a beautiful rose garden outside. The World Peace Rose Garden showcases 185 multicolored roses, which symbolize the diverse cultures, nations, and religions of the world. It says here that Dr. King fought for everyone who didn't have a voice. It's all surgical, that was all vertical. Moving them out. So this right here is the famous Ebenezer Baptist Church. Martin Luther King, of course, was a minister. He was very inspired by his religion. This statue is called Behold, dedicated to the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King and his moral courage, nobility of spirit. So this is where Martin Luther King and his father preached in favor of desegregation, voting rights and equal pay right in here. He was nourished spiritually and instilled with a tradition of leadership and activism that would profoundly influence his life and the nation. During the 13 years of Dr. Martin Luther King's leadership of the American Civil Rights Movement, the United States achieved more progress towards racial equality than in the previous 350 years. He used the power of words and acts of nonviolence, such as grassroots efforts and protests, to achieve seemingly impossible goals. Nonviolence is the most potent weapon available to oppress people in their struggle for freedom and justice. At just 35 years old, he was the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Okay, so here in the reflecting pool, you can see is Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King's mausoleum. Their mausoleum is right here, but the whole center is closed because of COVID. 
on Dr. King's tomb, it says, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. He's buried next to his wife of 15 years, Coretta Scott King. The quote was taken from his iconic and eloquent I Have a Dream speech, which was believed to be largely improvised. On Auburn Avenue, we see Martin Luther King's birth home, where he was born in 1929. He was so smart that he skipped two grades in high school and later earned his doctorate degree in theology from Boston University. This is the historic district. Very walkable, lots of tree-lined streets. So it's very meaningful to be here, especially in light of what's happening with the Black Lives Matter movement. It definitely feels like an uprising and people are really pushing for change in our country, which is great continuing the legacy for Martin Luther King. So this right here is the Civil Rights Walk of Fame. All the people who have had impact in the Civil Rights Movement. Of course, it is not yet finished here in the United States. Mike and BP are on the Walk of Fame of Civil Rights. You can hear all these beautiful birds. Look at these red birds. Wow. I've never seen anything like this. They look like parrots. Oh my gosh. So this is called the Freedom Park. It's a mile and a half of greenery, beautiful walkway dedicated to Dr. King. It is so peaceful here, except for the sirens. If you like these views as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Lots of photographers here. So even though we couldn't go inside, there was quite a bit to see from the outside. Although I thought there would be more like public art on display, signs of how Martin Luther King has touched other people's lives, but there wasn't much of that. There was quite a bit of beautiful nature with the Peace Park and the Rose Garden, but his message continues to resonate to this day. This is called the Krog Street Market. There's a lot of cool shops here. Very industrial, like a repurposed industrial area. Atlanta is known for its impressive food halls, and at the Krog Street Market, you can get everything from ice cream to local beer. This is a local beer from the Reformation Brewery. Now we head outside to Inman Park, known as Atlanta's first planned suburb, with its Victorian home architecture and beautifully landscaped streets. Inman Park. Look at these cute homes. This is called the Atlanta Beltline. Nice walking area right here. Switching gears, we're heading to a place that brings the entire community together at the Ponce City Market. We are in Atlanta at the Ponce, Ponce City Market. This used to be the electrical Sears building. The Ponce City Market is one of the best places in Atlanta to meet with friends and grab a bite to eat. Located in the former Sears Roebuck building from 1926, this market has been completely renovated and now boasts a fun food hall, boutique stores, and the main attraction, the rooftop, where for $10, you can get the city skyline and fun boardwalk games. Welcome to Atlanta and the Pond City Market. The thing in here where you can learn to sew and make your own clothes. Be nice to make my own mask. And if you want to get the experience of traveling completely to the opposite side of the world, you can do that here in Atlanta at the Australian Bakery Cafe located in Marietta. 
This Australian bakery is family owned and is one of the few places in the United States where you can get a traditional Australian meat pie. Mike, what do we have here? Australian bakery. Australian bakery, cheers. We have all the flags. We've got Tasmania, which we've been to, South Australia. After trying delicious foods from around the world and visiting the birthplace of the prominent civil rights leader Martin Luther King, we call it a day here in Atlanta. We hope you enjoyed this video and get a chance to visit Hotlanta ATL very soon. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and stay tuned for more travel videos every Travel Tuesday.